If you are creating your invoices manually, you are losing precious time. In this video, I'll show you how to create this automation that will basically create your invoices for you automatically without having to touch them based on what's happening on your project management tool. Uh, I've created this automation for this video only. It's a simplification of a much more complex system that I've built for, um, for a client uh, that is already online and saving a bunch of time in client management work. If you'd like to see that system in play, I'll leave the link down below. Um, for this automation, I use a few different tools. Uh, Make.com, which is like this no-code automation platform that I absolutely love. Um, ClickUp for the project management tool where the automations are built on top of. Uh, FreshBooks for the invoicing system and GPT by OpenAI for a simple AI task. Uh, of course, this system could, could be built with uh, a bunch of other tools, but these are the tools that I use for this client that are working pretty well. Um, if you'd like to try any of them for free, I'll also leave the links down below. So without further ado, jumping into the explanation of how to create this. Okay, jumping into the automation. Even though it is a simplification of a much more complex system, it should be enough to give you uh, information and tools to create your own system, um, to customize it to your organization, or who knows, to improve it um, and make it a more powerful automation. Um, for this system, I'll need to give you a little bit more co uh, context um, to explain what is the, the base underneath this automation. Um, so first of all, on our uh, project management tool, we have a delivery space with the folder for every client we are working with. I'll, I'll have to blur this out uh, for privacy. Um, within every uh, client's folder, we have the different services. And basically the services are just a task list. And this is the task list that the team works on. So basically this is just a task list at least that the whole team has access to and they work on the daily basis so we can see that the the tasks that are closed uh, in progress next week black backlog and they are organized by phase so we have management preparation analysis results and so on so this is the the delivery space that is integrated with this dashboard this dashboard is the centralized hub it's basically the command center of um, a bunch of different automations. In this case, we, I've basically just created this dumb data to explain you. So this is like four examples of clients or projects that we, we are working with. The total value, the services, the current phase, payment basis, very important. The progress of that project, the, the last invoice that was issued, attached to a certain uh, client payment info, and the time track. There's a bunch of other fields, but they are not very relevant uh, for now. Um, so basically, uh, this is very, very important. And I have a, a daily automation because ClickUp doesn't allow to do it within. So I, I built an automation on Make that basically reads the, the delivery space, every folder, every, every active client. Daily, it reads and it will update a few different things. It will update the current phase, it will update the progress, and it will update the total time tracked. This time track is um, is the, the whole team time tracked for that specific project. Um, so that, that's an excellent automation that I've built on top of this. Um, and then another uh, uh, context information, we have a, a proposal, aut automated proposals, uh, automation basically before this one I, i've created a video about this so i'll also leave the link down below so basically we have an automation that sends proposals to the clients these proposals are automatically tracked what does that mean is when a client signs a proposal a few different things happen um, basically we trigger automatically the onboarding um, process and this onboarding is basically we send a form to collect um, the invoicing information. That invoicing is that invoicing information is creating in this other uh, list that we have created the client payments info. We basically we we just log here 
the invoicing details before the project starts. Uh, so the client is added here, the project is added here automatically, and an invoicing profile is creating in our invoicing system. So I've created this just to show you. In this case, we have two types of projects, the monthly and by milestones. Basically, the monthly is in the end of every month, we count how many hours the whole team has worked on this project and we build those hours and by milestones. Basically, when the certain project reach a certain phase, we build, we reach a certain milestone and we build that milestone. And, and every project is attached to a client on the client payments info. So these two lists are attached here. Um, and here on the automation, um, it is also divided in two. Basically, the top branch, this wall branch is for the milestone projects. And the bottom branch is for the hourly based projects. It might look confusing, but it's not, it's not uh, rocket science. I'll, I'll explain each one of them. So to, to get started, um, this automation runs at the end of every month. So it basically runs one day uh, of the month and it will pull data from the project's overview and it will pull data of the client payment info that is attached to every single project. And then we have a, a router, which is basically a roundabout. So the milestone projects go up and the monthly projects go down. Um, and I'll start by the milestone. Uh, here is a setting variable. It's not really relevant just because uh, ClickUp doesn't give me um, a custom field as I would like. So I just change it how I like. Um, and here we have this uh, filter, which is basically going to determine if uh, we have reached a milestone or not. So basically what these filters do is they get this information from ClickUp and it will see if we are on a certain phase and the last invoice, it's still not the last phase that we have just uh, accomplished. So you can, you can proceed this path. That's basically what this does. So for example, what it does here is if the current phase is phase is the second phase and the last invoice doesn't contain preparation, then you follow this path and so on. In this case, if the phase is the phase three and the last invoice field doesn't contain analysis, then you should create this invoice and so on. So basically, this is this filter is just to determine which milestone we have achieved with that project. Then we create an invoice and then we simply notify ourselves. And there's a, there's a, a couple things we can do here. Uh, we can notify ourselves uh, with the link to edit the the proposal the invoice um and then send or we can we could send directly to the client but since it's a it's sensitive information i like this validation step so i just email myself um saying there's a new um there's a new invoice that has been created just validate it and send it i will exemplify in a bit i will uh, run this automation so you'll see it happening and the last step is updating the last invoice field. So the automation will run correctly next month as well. Um, and here on the monthly, I just have a, a very small AI task just to identify what's the current month uh, we've just path, passed and um, and to, to output it in a certain format. I will show you in a bit. Uh, this text parser will basically um, extract uh, so the monthly, I will the monthly based projects, the last invoice field, it's like that. So we have the date of the last invoice, and we have the total hours that has been billed within quotation marks. So basically, this text parser is just have um, regex to extract what is within quotation marks. So we have we know what is the total. The this is total bills and then we have to do a calculation basically what this calculation will will do is it will go to that project it will see how much time has been clocked and how much time has been invoiced 
and it will basically sub subtract from this value, it will subtract this value. So for example, in this case that I will use as an example next, we have 12 clocked hours and we have invoiced five, which means that this month, our team has worked seven hours in this project. Um, and that is what this is doing here. Uh, it's basically time clocked minus the value that comes from the, the build. So then we have uh, a value to invoice and then we create an invoice and we notify ourselves. Of course, this, um, to this work, you, you need to have a, a template invoice in your uh, invoicing system with your information ready to go. Now to simplify, I'll show this automation working. For that, I will choose, I'll just exemplify with sample and test. So I will, I'll change the status of these two to frozen. So it, the automation doesn't pick them up. Um, so now we'll, I'll just test with the sample and the test. So for the sample case, we are already in the results phase and we have invoiced the preparation phase. So we should be able to invoice the analysis because we, if we are on the results phase, we have passed the analysis and we haven't invoiced it yet. So we have reached a, a milestone and I will exemplify that. On the test, it is a monthly based project. We have a total build of five hours but the, the team has worked 12 hours on it. So we should be able to invoice seven hours. Um, so now I'll run the automation so you guys can see this working. Um, it should be okay. So we have, exactly. So we have one, one uh, uh, invoice go, gone up and another invoice went down so basically a few different things happen here so as we can confirm the analysis phase complete so that's the milestone and the the monthly the open ai it just gives me just outputs me the gpt um module just outputs me this for the current month and in this format march 2024 it will give me the value within the quotation marks, which was five, and we'll calculate seven because it's 12 minus five. Um, and then I, we can confirm that here. So this has updated. So now analysis phase complete invoice, uh, invoice three out of four, and we have totally built 12 hours. So that is working fine there. And I also email myself these two examples. So for example, new invoice created for tests. Hey, a new invoice has been created for test and needs your validation. Service is this, period is that. Here's the client, client's overview profile on ClickUp, invoice to review. If I click here, I should land directly on the invoice, um, on my invoicing system. Um, so as we can see, seven hours has been built over a rate that is per previously determined. The description is automatically filled and this is basically, it is correct. And I have a few, a uh, couple things I can do here. I can, within my invoicing system, I can send by email to them, to the client, or I can create an email myself, um, or I can even change the automation to, to create a draft in my email provider um, so I can easily one click validate. Um, so that is one example. The other example is new invoice created for sample. A new invoice is created blah, 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 blah. Uh, invoice three out of four. So this is the milestone. So this is the uh, milestone three out of four. And it should show us here we don't have the hours. We have the total value of the of the of the project divided by four. So, is as we can see here, the total value of this is eleven thousand euros. So, in this case, I'm invoicing a fourth of this, um, and this is automatically updated here. So, it's ready to go.
And that's it. It's a quick quick overview of our uh, invoicing automation. And since it is built on Make.com and ClickUp, which are both very flexible tools with a very robust API, you can easily adapt these and customize it to your system, uh, improve it, uh, integrate with other tools without the need to code. If you'd like to see the whole system in play, I've created a free demo that shows how, how I've combined these with other 10 automations to reduce up to 80% of the client management efforts. Um, it's a very powerful um, bundle of automations with features like uh, automated proposals, automated invoices, client onboarding, workflow management, um, team uh, client reports, team management, and others. Um, I'll leave the link down below. My name is Miguel from Flowshift. Dot AI, an AI automation studio that specializes in creating solutions and automating processes leveraging AI to help businesses be more efficient and grow. And if you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more uh, coming in your direction. If you are curious to see uh, what AI automations can do for your business, let's have a chat. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.